Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an amazing product to review for you guys. You guys know when it comes to product reviews, I love to review especially things I can use to cook with. You guys know I'm always here for those type of product reviews, but today I am going to be reviewing these mixing bowls by this company called Rote. Um, these are stainless steel nesting mixing bowls with lids. You can see all the colorful lids. So we are going to go through them. First of all, let me grab the lids first. You guys know with every product review always comes a great, great recipe. So don't you go forward or skip this video just because I start with a product review, okay? So this company is, um, ooh, that bowl look good. I can't even talk, y'all. <laughs> so this company reached out to me to review this product, and of course I said yes. So you can see how cute these little bowls are. The outside of it is like that frosty looking, and the inside is really that shiny mirrored look just so your food are not sticking to it. And of course, that little one is super cute. But you guys know, when it comes to any anything, the best test is a curry test. So we are going to do my, um, my seafood curry with my crab and shrimp on these bowls and see how they hold out. But for now, I am really, really loving it. They are dishwasher safe. I would say um, maybe hand wash them. I usually hand wash stuff like that, but they are dishwasher safe. You can throw them in the dishwasher and it is sealed. There's no air coming out of this, y'all. So this is a really good product. I will leave all the information um, for the product down in the description box. Of course, they're Amazon, so you guys can purchase you on. Okay, so let's get into the food video and test these babies out. So to test out the bowls, we are going to be making some curry shrimp and blue crabs. So for this, you are going to be needing some fresh thyme and some hot pepper. I'm using a red habanero pepper. And you are going to be needing a couple bay leaves, some parsley to garnish, and um, one lime. And I have two and a half teaspoon of a piece. If you don't know how to make this a piece, check the card that just came up to show you how to make it. Half an onion, a little bit of green bell pepper, a little bit of red bell pepper, but you can use any color bell pepper you want. A little bit of butter, about two teaspoon, and I have two and a half teaspoon of curry powder, and I have some pimento seeds. If you don't have pimento seeds, you don't have to use it. Some olive oil, and I have three garlic that I crushed in here. I like using my pilon. And you need some onion powder, garlic powder, and you will need some coconut milk. I should have called it curry, coconut, shrimp, and crab. But you will need some blue crab. Mine are already cut, but if you don't know how to clean them, I have a video on this channel as well showing you how to clean them. And you need some shrimp as well. And of course, some salt and pepper to taste. Please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video. So let's get cooking, guys. So first thing we are going to want to do is roll that lime so we can get as much juice out of it as we can. And I like to save a little bit of the juice so you can take half and squeeze it and save the lime juice and put it to the side and now we are going to clean our shrimp and crab what i like to do is the pointy edges here i like to just clip them out let me do this on my counter just clip the sharp edges out of course when you buy them they're not going to do all the work for you so you have to check and do some of the work yourself okay i don't mind these but just go ahead and clip all the ends before we start cleaning them with our lime. So now we can start cleaning them. You want to take that lime and really rub it into the crabs, each and every one of them. Because this will enhance some great flavor to our curry as well. I made this recipe, you guys, on Instagram on the reel, 
and you guys just absolutely love it and request that I made it on YouTube. So I had to go search for some crafts again <laughs> and make it for you guys. You guys know I love you guys. Anything you guys ask for, I will try my best to make it. Um, what I like to do with my shrimp, I like to leave the tail just because it just looks prettier when we are plating. That's the only reason I like to leave it, but if you don't, you can take it off. Okay. So just rub everything, make sure everything get a little bit of lime juice. And then after that, we are going to rinse it with some cold water. Do not ever rinse seafood with hot water, you guys, because it cooks so fast. You don't want to pre-cook it. So you want to rinse it with cold water and then we can come back and season. All right, now that I have rinsed my um, seafood, you wanna go ahead and add that a piece. This has so much goodness in it. Again, if you don't know how to make that, check the card. And now we are going to add um, about one teaspoon of that curry powder. We don't wanna add too much because I do like to burn my curry before I cook it. And we are going to add about a teaspoon and a half or so of um, garlic powder and a teaspoon and a half or so. If, I say also if you go over, it's not the end of the day, of um, onion powder. And you want to mix everything well. Of course, my spoon is too small, but before we do that, we want to go ahead and add a little bit of that lime juice. I'm going to save some for the end and add a little bit of salt, okay? Because that curry I'm using does not really have any salt. Of course, salt um, to taste and now mix everything. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload. Again, thank you, welcome to the channel. If you've been with me, thank you for sticking with me. I do love and appreciate you guys. I know I haven't been on in a long time. Um, those of you who follow me on my social media platform, if you haven't, go ahead and do so. Um, all information and links will be down in the description box. But we are working on opening a restaurant in Dickinson, North Dakota. So that's where we've been really spending a lot of our time just doing that. It's been a lot of work, but I will do a separate video to show you guys everything at the restaurant, to show you guys the the process, the progress, so you guys can be part of the family with us. Again, thank you for the love and support. So now we're going to allow this to marinate in the fridge for 30 minutes or longer if you have the time. Now it's time to do some damage control. You wanna go ahead and take a pan, a nice heavy pan, and put the rest of the curry. I'm actually going to save just this much and you guys know I love to burn my curry. So that's what we're doing right now. Just so I don't have a raw taste. Actually, I'm going to put all the curry. There's no point of wasting. Just so I don't have a raw taste when we are eating it. And I know I'm using a white spoon, but a little bit of bleach will take care of that stain. So don't worry too much. Okay, keep an eye on it. Do not walk away from this, guys, because it can be a hot mess real quick. <laughs> so make sure you are tossing and turning it for about a minute. Okay, now you want to go ahead and add a couple teaspoons of olive oil. Okay. And make sure all the curry is in and to that we are going to add our garlic our crushed garlic get it out of that pilon <laughs> this remind me of home i love using that when i crush my garlic i actually make my a piece in that at times if i don't have any in my fridge and we are going to cook the garlic for a few minutes, about one minute or less than a minute. We don't want it to burn. 
just to release some of the fragrance. Mm, smells so good already. And now go ahead and add your onion and let that saute for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. And now add the peppers. And we are going to let that saute again for another 30 to 45 seconds. Just make sure you are constantly turning it so they don't burn. Now go ahead and pour in that coconut milk. I am using about um, a little more than half of the can, maybe three quarters of the coconut milk. Do not use coconut cream, guys. Make sure it is coconut milk you are using, okay? And stir everything and give it a taste, even though we haven't added anything. And now we are going to throw in the pimento seeds. Of course, it's already clean. And we are going to throw in our thyme and our bay leaves. And of course, with the heat. And if you wanna cut that up, you can definitely do that, totally up to you. And let that kind of simmer, but first we wanna add a little bit of salt. If you wanna add some seafood seasoning, you definitely can, like um, slap your mama or something like that. You definitely can, totally up to you, okay? So now we are going to stir, mix everything up. This smells so good. I always say I wish they had smell vision. <laughs> but ain't nobody trying to listen to me. They don't want to invent that, y'all. So let's let it saute or simmer for about three to four minutes. So I did went ahead and put in a little bit of my Slap Your Mama seasoning. Um, add some to your own liking because you guys know it is. Um, it got salt in it. So now you want to grab the shrimp and the crab and we are going to add it to the pot. And I do have my stove set to about a medium heat. You guys can see that bowl is doing pretty good with the curry. Um, dishwasher safe, you can wash it by hand, but I can see it's going to remove pretty easy. So go ahead and purchase you that bowl guys. Gift it to somebody who loves to cook or gift it to yourself. If you're learning how to cook, you can start off with something like that to do your food preps. Okay. So now I'm just mixing everything and make sure every piece of that crab gets some of that coconut goodness. And we let it simmer, guys, because we don't want raw coconut taste also when we are eating our delicious coconut curry seafood and now we are going to allow it to simmer for about a good 10 minutes to make sure everything is cooked you guys know seafood don't take long to cook at all but we want everything to cook so cover it up and let it simmer for a good 5 to 10 minutes let's see what we have going on here it smells amazing so now you wanna go ahead and drop in that butter. Let that melt. And once that's melt, we're just going to garnish and it's pretty much done. Of course, I want to taste. Mm, the smell is just ridiculous. And if you want it to be a little spicy, if you want more than just that slap your mama um, um, heat, you can pop this bad boy right here. It's totally up to you, but don't, don't, don't blame me, y'all. <laughs> Do not blame me, but it tastes so good. And of course, this will go so well with some white rice and the green vegetable of your choice. So I'm going to let the butter do its thing and come back and garnish and we can finish up this recipe. All right, at this point, go ahead and turn off your heat and chop your parsley and just put right on top of it for garnish. And this is pretty much it. I feel like this recipe, you need to be in the food channel. So I'll try to get me on the food channel, yeah. You guys know I be talking nonsense, but I really do. I need Gordon Ramsay to see <laughs> this video right here because this is beyond delicious. I can't stop tasting. 
but this will do it for this video guys please please try this recipe if you love seafood this is you that butter give it that nice glossy look and you guys know seafood and butter are like match made in heaven so go ahead and try this recipe share that recipe with your family and your loved ones and leave me a comment down below let me know if you try it how, what you think and if you tried that one i made on instagram let me know what you think other than that guys Again, please share the videos, comment, like, and share. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And please, please continue to stay safe. I love you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.